Hello everyone. So today I have a special guest. She won't be saying anything, but she's here. So you can admire her cuteness. Um, and by my t-shirt, maybe you can tell that I am going to be talking about something that is very important to this generation, and that is my Hogwarts house. So, I had to move Totoro there. Um, so I took the test on Pottermore to be sorted uh, about a year and a half ago, and of course there's no Hogwarts house test that's perfect as we do not have a Hogwarts and er, if we do I'm not been invited to it so you should all send me my letter and sadly there is no known sorting hat in existence so I am just going off of what the Pottermore test told me and I was sorted as a Gryffindor which confused me a lot a year and a half ago because in no way did I think of myself as brave. I thought that I could do the right thing, which is very Gryffindor, but I didn't think that I was courageous necessarily. You know, I wasn't the kid who threw caution to the wind and you know, went out and did potentially dangerous things. That just wasn't me. But as I've grown and learned more about myself, I've realized that I am truly a Gryffindor. Um, I stand up for my beliefs. I stand up for others a lot of the time. I'm not afraid to ask questions or to point out things that I think may be wrong or things that I admire as well. It's not the, you know, typical knight in shining armor kind of bravery, but it is bravery and it does take effort and not everyone is able to exert that effort. So, um, I guess what I'm saying is that while in the beginning I thought I would be in Ravenclaw or maybe Hufflepuff, um, the test is actually right and you know more and more I'm seeing myself as a Gryffindor and as someone who is honest and courageous and you know willing to learn in a way they may not be the intelligent people that Ravenclaws are but they are willing to accept knowledge and to react to it and question it so hopefully, <laughs> even if you're not in Gryffindor, you love your Hogwarts house. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I will see you all hopefully tomorrow, but who knows with the way school's been going. So, yep. Goodbye. Y'all don't want me. Wookie did not appreciate that.